Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 5 is out on Monday and it may be out by the time you're watching this. And I wanted to go over the top five features of watchOS 5. So the first one is new watch faces. And as you can see here, this is the new breathe watch face. There's three different ones within this. So if I go to customize, you'll see we go here, there's another one, and then there's another one. They all have similar motion. And you'll see it just breathes like the breathe app. They look pretty good and I kind of like them. Let's go to the next one. The next one is liquid metal. Now there are some that are not on this watch face, the new activity one, the one they show on the new Apple watch series four. Now you can change this one and customize it to all of the different metals, black, gold, or silver. So depending on which phone or which watch you have and it's finished, you can match it up. So you'll see there's the little animation that it does. There's two more. So here is, this one is water. So if we push here and we'll customize, you'll see it's water. We have fire, water, and both. So let's take a look at water. Fire is the one they showed with watch or Apple watch series four rather. So that's water. And if we go back to fire, you'll see this one. We have fire there. And then if we move over here, this is vapor. So we have choices here as well. So blue, green, black, white, pink, orange, or all. So if we go to all, you'll see it will change throughout the day, depending on which one it is, but it's just vapor. And I wish it kind of spread out further than that, but it still looks good either way. So those are the four new watch faces that are included. And there's also new ones probably on the new Apple watch. Now the next one is Siri and you can just raise your wrist and start talking. No need to say, Hey, and then that afterwards. So it wakes up your phone or anything else. It will just wake up on your watch. It's tough to show on camera, but let me try it once and see if I can get it to work. What's the weather today? Okay. And it worked. And there's the weather. So that's the hourly conditions and you get the idea. So that actually worked that time and it works every time when it's on my wrist It's just tough to show in front of the camera. Now Siri also gets more proactive and smarter and more predictive. So just like your phone will do with kind of knowing when you want to go home and kind of give you directions, it will do the same thing on your watch. Now, the third thing is notifications. They're a lot better. They're stacked just like the iPhone. So you can see here's some Instagram ones, tap them and then they open up and then I can clear them all just like that. And then same thing for YouTube studio or tap and clear all, or you can swipe to the right or left and have more options. So much better notifications, not so cluttered and just scrolling forever. Now, the next thing is student ID cards. Now, if you have a student ID set up on your phone, you can use your phone or your watch to actually do things such as access to the dorm or gyms or libraries on campus, things like that. And it's really handy and then pay for things, of course, with Apple pay. And it's only available at some select universities now, such as Duke, John Hopkins, Santa Clara, University of Alabama, University of Oklahoma and Temple University. So you may or may not have that now, depending on your university, but it should be available. Then the next thing is walkie talkie. This is probably my favorite feature and I don't actually have it turned on to use with anyone yet, but you go to walkie talkie and then you just add a contact, push to talk as long as they accept it. And then you can talk kind of like Dick Tracy. You just talk back and forth. You've got a walkie talkie on your wrist. So we'll be sure to check that out with the new Apple watch when everyone has watch OS five, but it will work across multiple walkie talkie or multiple watch OS's with walkie talkies. You just add your friends. So that part's really nice. Now, one last thing I wanted to add is there's new workout types. So if you're doing a workout, and it senses these workouts too. So there's times when I'll just go for a walk and it will ask me, are you on a walk? And if so, it'll, you hit start and you're good to go. So there's new workout types. So here's all the different ones that we've got now. Rower, stair stepper, high intensity interval training, hiking, yoga, pool, swim, open water, swim, other, Let's see if we can go to other, uh, you can count calories and there's also hiking. So you've got all these different ones in here, indoor run and a lot of things added. Also some more benefits for runners as well. 
So those are the five major things, plus a little extra there, that Apple Watch or WatchOS 5 does on your Apple Watch. But let me know what your favorite feature is in the comments below. Also, let me know if you picked up the new Apple Watch Series 4. I'll be having a review on that later on. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.